2009. Um, this has also affected our investor confidence and we needed to really um, deal with the issue of perception of a mutual exchange which was really operating as a monopoly and allowing investors to lose their money. There were obviously lapses in self-regulation because the, self, um, the stock exchange was not conducting its self-regulatory role. And the issue of corporate governance uh, between management and ownership of the stock exchange was a big issue for us in Kenya. What we have done is really to focus on an all-inclusive approach as we undertake demutualization. Um, and instead of the Capital Markets Authority, the regulator driving the process, we have um, had the Ministry of Finance actually being the one to appoint uh, the very a demutualization steering committee, which is chaired by the Capital Markets Authority. Um, I do chair the same committee, and this is really to drive the demutualization. The vice chairman of that committee is the Nairobi Stock Exchange, and again, it's really because we like an all-inclusive approach. We have also incorporated the Central Bank, the Ministry of Finance, and the Attorney General in the same committee, and we brought two experts, one an investment expert and a legal expert, to really work with us, as well as even invited members of the Association of Stockbrokers and Investment Bank. We have two representatives there. Based on that, uh, the DSC really functions, or rather the Demutualization Theory Committee functions uh, from a policy level, as well as a legal framework, as well as also value allocation. Because of the fact that demutualization is really a consensus building process, we needed to also have a committee that would deal with value allocation, which was a big issue. And uh, we did have a subcommittee of the demutualization dealing with that. We have also a, a subcommittee dealing with the self-regulation aspect, because once a stock exchange demutualizes, we have to also deal with the fact that it will become a self-regulatory organization. In terms of the milestones, uh, this process was started in March 2009, and we have covered quite a lot. We have been able to allocate value. Um, there was a formal extraordinary general meeting that uh, came up with formal resolutions uh, with regards to the value allocation and the members agreed in terms of how much they would actually uh, uh, share out. Uh, part of this allocation was also granted to the government, um, about 20% uh, of, the, of the shares. Uh, one ten percent to the government of Kenya and uh, ten percent to our investor compensation fund, which is managed by the Capital Markets Authority, which we believe is very important. We have also had a consensus of the exchange valuation, and uh, we have also ended up agreeing on the supervisory responsibility between the Capital Markets Authority and the stock exchange. We believe uh, it was also important to agree on the issue of self-listing. And at the time, we did agree that there would be self-listing at some point when the stock exchange was ready to do that. Uh, we provided for about a period of three years. We have also been able to amend our Capital Markets Act, and this actually became effective in December 2010 um, to allow for demutualization of the Nairobi Stock Exchange and to remove any perceived barriers with respect of demutualization. And so this framework is in place, and currently we're in the process of um, going ahead with the demutualization. The challenges have been there, and I, I would like to just focus on those. There has been a perception of the Nairobi stock ex by the stock exchange members of losing control, and how we have mitigated this is obviously by including the consultation, which has been very extensive um, to each of the members, to the Association of Stock Brokers, and this has been very successful. We have also had a lot of delays in timely adoption of broad statutory framework, again, because this had to go through parliament um, and the minis this was just approved in December, but what we did is we really tried to see how else would we um, deal with the issue of, the, of that regulatory barrier. So in some of the, we only put in the necessary uh, the necessary framework that had to go through parliament, and the others we've actually done it through guidelines that were actually, um, which are currently under exposure to the public, because our law requires that if we issue guidelines, then they have to be on exposure for 30 days. But that has also 
made sure that we don't have to keep going to parliament for every little change with the demutualization process. For sure, the market um, was uncertain about the process and the implications of demutualization and even just sensitization. So we have embarked on a uh, media campaign to focus on demutualization, what we expect out of it, what it means for investors, what it means for each of the different categories of stakeholders. Um, and I would like to state that demutualization cannot occur in a vacuum. There is a reason why we are undertaking demutualization, and it's really part of market-wide reforms that the authority has been undertaking, which include risk-based supervision, um, the development of corporate governance guidelines, as well as a code of business, which, uh, which we didn't have pre prior to this process. We also have required the publication of financial statements, again, to give investors confidence uh, of our members. So there is publication of financial statements in the dailies uh, every six months, which, again, has boosted the investor confidence uh, of our members and the stock exchange. The other issue has also been the issue of regulatory reform. Uh, this has been very extensive. They moved to disclosure-based um, regime rather than a merit-based regime, as well as providing for products, additional products like REITs, um, as well as other market-driven products like exchange-traded funds, uh, which we believe are very crucial for us. We have also been undertaking a bond reform program for the over-the-counter market, uh, which will work hand-in-hand hand with the new uh, stock exchange because of the trade reporting mechanism that will be provided.